Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and today we're going to be talking about contact info. Now, with Odoo Contacts, you can encode and manage your contacts information quickly and efficiently. Now, contact records hold a vast amount of data ranging from basic info to more complex info, such as accounting information or bank information, both which are pretty private. Now, contact information for both customers and vendors is integrated throughout all of Odoo's applications. So, Keep all of your contact information in one central location and forget about your nightmares of disorganization. So, let's see how all of this works in Odoo. Enough chit chat. Let's jump into my database. All right, Odoo. So, here we are on the main menu. Now, let's get started and we're going to go into the contacts application. Now, I can choose any contact. And in our case, we're going to select Azure Interior and we're going to edit their info. Now, you'll notice about the name. We have the option to choose if this contact is a company, as we already have it set, or an individual. Now, in this case, Azure Interior is a company. Now, you can also add some other information, such as address, tax ID, phone numbers, email, website, languages, and tags. Now, I also can indicate if a contact is an employee of my company and connect the related employee record as well here. Now, if we go to the bottom here, I have a few tabs. Now, we're going to start on the Contacts and Addresses tab. Now, here, I can add contacts that are associated with this company and related addresses. For example, if I have a specific contact person, I could add that info here. Now, when I click Add, it's going to allow me to specify whether it's a contact invoice address, delivery address, private address, other addresses, or follow-up address. I'm sorry for the mouthful. Now, I can also add the contact name, email address, and a few other bits of information here. In our case, we're going to select contacts right here at the top left. And our name here is Frank, Frankie Miller. And we actually have his email. In this case, it is frankie at azure.com. We're all set, but I noticed something. Now, we can also add an internal note here. Perhaps I would like to say that they are a good customer. So we're going to type that in. We're going to not say good. We're going to say great customer. Add an insane amount of exclamation points right there. And now that that's done, we're going to save and close. Perfect. Now up next, you'll notice I have the sales and purchases tab. Now within here, we can specify a few different things. And the very first thing that I want to make a note of, however, is that sales and purchase will only appear when sales, purchase, or POS applications are installed. In the event you do not see this, remember that. Now here, I can actually assign a specific salesperson my contact as or interior. In our case, I selected Mark Demo. Now I can also say that Azure Interior has certain payment terms or a certain price list as well. I can even put them a preferred delivery address or I can even select something like assigning them a partner barcode or anything else here. Now, you notice there's a few other areas too. Like I also have some miscellaneous fields in the event that I have a few other things that I'd like to add on to one of these contact lists. And if we go up here, you'll notice the purchase tab. Now, if I am purchasing products from this company, I can specify payment terms as well. And I can also figure out tax information, preferred payment method. And I can even set a receipt reminder as well. This is really useful for a lot of fiscal information. Now, what do we have up next? Let's go to accounting. Because speaking of fiscal information, the accounting tab will appear when the accounting app is installed. I can add a bank account here. Or I can also set default accounting journals as well. Now, everything looks good there as well. So we're going to move on over to internal notes. Now, if you remembered, I added one for our a friend Frankie earlier. Now, if we wanted to, we can also do that for a company as well, such as saying, great company. Oop. And adding more exclamation points because we're very excited here at Odoo. Now, up next, we're going to see the partner assignment. Partner assignment by default includes a geolocation and other partner options, such as partner activation and partner review. And finally, we have the membership tab, which can help you manage any memberships that you offer. Now, we're done here, and if we move on up over here to the top, you'll notice we have a few smart buttons. Now, these smart buttons allow us to move between different apps quickly using any of these toggles up here. Now, as you'll notice, we see some records that we created on other apps, and they're listed as a number next to each one of these, such as sales having six. Now, for example, if we select opportunity, which lists two, the 
takes us directly into our CRM pipeline where we can actually see two of the cards right away. Now, if the corresponding applications are installed, these smart buttons will appear. Let's head back over here. Now, we can also see we had a few other things such as tasks, tickets, purchases, and if we select more, we have even further information over here. Now you'll also notice, go to website. If the contact is a partner, you'll be able to visit their partner page on your website. Isn't that dandy? Now, there's another final option that you have. Let's assume things didn't work out or a company is no longer present. You can select action up here, archive, and you can archive the company and their record fully. In this case, since I archive this contact, if we go back over here to contacts, they stop appearing right here. Oh no, what if you did it on accident? Well, if you select the filters, they're actually not fully gone. You can actually select archive, and you'll notice they're right there. And if we go back up here, we can unarchive them. And isn't that very useful? But that's enough of that, oh doers. Let's go back to our main contacts page because we want to talk about the individual, not just the company. So. Let's select Brandon Freeman right there. Now, when we're inside of Brandon Freeman's card, I can see that this is individual, an individual, sorry about that, and not a company based on these radio buttons up here. We also have a few additional fields on this page that aren't visible if company is selected. For example, you can actually add an associated company right here, right below the name. In our case, we can see that Brandon is already associated with Azure Interior. And isn't that very quickly useful? There's also an additional option to select what kind of address is listed, if you notice here. And isn't that also equally as useful as well? Now, I still have the same fields where I can add Brandon's phone number, email, website, and more. Additionally, you'll notice something very important here. I can actually decide what his job title is here, or what it is over at Azure Interior, and his citizen info. Now, in our case, We'd actually heard that Brandon got a promotion and is actually now a senior creative director. So we're going to add that in here because he deserves every bit of credit. Now, once that we do that, this will auto save if we were to leave this card or we can also manually save it by selecting this up here. And we're going to do that right now. Now you'll notice we can actually see Brandon's associated company as our interior has a small arrow next to it. Let's see what happens when we click that arrow. Now, you'll notice it very quickly took us to the main page for Azure Interior as a small shortcut so that you have that in the future, oh doers. Now, on, on Azure Interior's card, we can also see that Brandon is listed as a contact under the Contacts and Addresses tab. Talk about being connected. Now then, that's all for this tutorial. We learned that the Contacts application plays an important role in managing information on the companies and customers you work with. This data is used throughout the entire Odoo database and almost every application that Odoo offers. Until next time, Odooers. Now, thank you for watching, and be sure to check out the other tutorial videos in our e-learning platform. Have a great night.